The following contest is a two out of three falls match. And from Columbia, South Carolina, the women's champion, Lillian Ellis. Seeing as the title is not on the line tonight, Corey, do you anticipate motivation being an issue for the champ? Are you kidding me, Cole? Not only do I expect motivation to not be an issue for her here tonight, but I also expect her to wipe the floor with her opponent. From Mount Olympus, Princess Diana Prince. Ladies and gentlemen, our two-on-one handicap match is coming up next. Why do you sound so excited, Cole? You know it's matches like this that cause careers to end prematurely. And let me tell you, that is nothing to be excited about. As a reminder, guys, this one will be a handicap match featuring two superstars against one. Oh, we don't need a reminder, Cole, though I'm willing to bet that after this one, somebody's going to need a reminder on what their name is. what has the makings of a potentially very ugly handicap match. I think it's pretty safe to say that this one might get a little ugly, guys. Oh. What's this, Corey? I think they're looking for the Romero special. Oh, no, Let it's it over. Be. There it is. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Impact. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar, she goes for the cover, and she kicks out with relative ease. I knew she could do it. The Giants opponents could be in the ring at the same time, or one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there is one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. She's looking at it. She's starting to fight out, guys. 
she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. Nailed it. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's out, remember, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just I think we know what this is. She better do something fast. A handicap match is the type of match she fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Oh, and Enziguri. This might be it. Oh, my. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time, or one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. She goes for the cover. That's not going to do it. Yeah, this early, no chance. Snapmare takeover. Whoa! Fist drop. Irish whip. you got to believe this one's over. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than... Can she end it here? Oh, man, she's rolling now. And the fight must go on. She's still in this one. Boom! No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, we got a cover. She is on fire. Real close, too close for cover. Wow, that's pure power, guys. Look at her go. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Oh, man, by the hair. Oh, what impact. That's all she wrote, fellas. That might be enough to put this match away. She goes for the cover. One. This one's far from over. Yet. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman. Ah, fireman's carry. A soul on the lower back. Warm up the bus. This one is oh, she goes for the cover. One, two. She kicks out of that one. She's still in this one. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Corey, I remember.
remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. But we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like Whitney. Stomping a lot. Multiple stops. He's back in full control now. She goes for the cover. She's looking a little unsteady. Her opponent clearly has her number here. I'm not ready to write her off yet, guys. Look at the look on her face. She may be in agony, but I don't expect her to roll over. Not now, not ever. I don't care what the match stipulations are. And for her sake, you just hope this isn't the beginning of the end for her, especially considering it's been such a tightly fought contest up to this point. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Incoming. She goes for the cover. Well, the numbers don't always tell the story in a handicap match. Here's another look. Oh, I can't believe this. Man, this was great. That's a woman on a mission. Ain't nothing better than action like this. This one's over, and here's your winner. That's exactly why she's seen as one of the most dominant females on the roster. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.